Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Face your fear of talking to women. Now, I've, I've talked about this subject numerous times, and you know what? I'm going to have to talk about it more. It really, to the point, I need to probably be talking about this more than, than about body game. But I'm going to stick with it, so don't get in the comments saying, hey, yeah, we love more videos about talking to women. Well, one, you'll probably get them to, I'm real funky with request. And yeah, just a personal thing. Just a personal thing. Part of my sovereignty and everything. Hey, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> anyway, you got to face your fear of it because I, I, that's one of the biggest problems I see with a lot of guys. Shoot, even some guys who, you know, they could be fitness models or bodybuilders with their body builds but can't talk to a woman. And it's always about a fear of talking to them. And where does that fear come from? It's a fear of being rejected. It's a fear of not knowing what to say, not how to interact. And I give the solution to that all the time. I say, say hi to three women a day. Just hi, just hi. What it is, is nothing magic about it. All it is, is building a muscle. For those who engage in body game, just like you gotta do, you do those curls, you do that bench press, you do like the exercises, the pulls for your back and everything, just to develop your body talking to women, all that is, is developing yourself to have conversations with random women. And I say it at least three a day, you might, you might constantly talk to women. Or another thing, maybe get into some type of business where you have to talk to people, period. That can help as well. Like I learned a lot about talking to women because one, I used, uh, used to vend a whole lot more. I've talked about this on my uh, business channel. I was vending at events that had mostly women. So I had to talk to them and you had to take a rejection. I mean, I was in sales. I had to take some rejection. You had to talk to random women. They were different and you had to take some rejection. Some women, you know, be like, hey, come check it out. They'd be like, hmm. then other ones be like, oh, OK, and then start talking. And then what that does is. Well, what that did for me is I could talk to a woman anytime. I've gotten to the point women are just start conversations with me. I was in a grocery store the other day and this woman, she kind of turned around, older woman, and was just talking. And I was like, I was just like, oh, I don't feel like talking to her. But I talked because I gave the I gave the vibe of just being comfortable. See, that's how you got to face it. But even to get to that point, you got to start just talking. That's the only way. That's it. That is it. I mentioned, I mentioned before about my 18 year old son, you know, having a girlfriend and then all these girls at the prom and finding out all these girls in the area know him. And, but I never forget, we driving in the car and he asked me about talking to girls. I said, look, man, just, just say hi. Just hi, just get used to saying hi. Now he does, he do, he do it more than I would want him to. I was like, God damn, dude, you just gonna talk, ain't you? But that's cool, though. That's cool, because he learned from it. That's it. You know? That's it. That you got to do it. The only way to face it is you got to just do it. There's no magic to it. It's no magic to it at all. It's no magic word and everything. Now, I also get some guys, and they'll say, well, what do I say? What do I talk about? Well, that's part of the practice. That's part of the practice of starting out talking to three women a day, saying hi, because once you get comfortable, it becomes more. It becomes like a casual conversation about something. You know, I lost count. I mean, seriously, every time I'm in a store or something like that, it might be in line. Some some woman will look at me and say something or whatever. When I have that comfort, but then it depends on what's going on. Like there's a local store, it, most people go out through the self-checkout line. And every time I'm in line, there's always a conversation because we're like, how come they can't get somebody to work up front? I ain't gonna call the store his name. Anybody who lives in Abingdon and shops in the Constant Friendship, uh, that general area, you probably know what store I'm talking about if you live in uh, uh, Harford County and you do any shopping in Abingdon. Yeah, you probably know what store I'm talking about. <laughs>
<laughs> but there's always a conversation, always a look. But see, here's the lesson there. Here's the lesson. I'm using that as an example. You can just talk about whatever's going on. Like a common conversation is the weather. The weather. Or if you're in a store, you run avocados. Hey, have you tried these? You can talk about whatever. But to even get to that point, you have to first start saying hi. And then just conversate. And then get, it's not always about trying to have sex. They get off of that. You got some guys saying, some content creators saying, only talk to the woman you're trying to have sex. That's stupid as shit. That's stupid as shit. Because one, you ain't used to talking to a woman. How you going to all of a sudden take it to a sexual conversation? You got to get used to talking. And let me hit y'all with some game on that. Sometimes just the, just the conversation, you only have to bring up sex, a woman's interest. She want to get to know you better because communication is big with a woman. Communication is big. A connection is big with a woman. But to even get to that point, you got to start out. You got to practice. Here's something else, too. Um, if you in stores or something, you got a store clerk going out. Sometimes just sometimes they chatty. So I was in a grocery store the other day. The young lady was chatty with everybody. So you just talk. And then sometimes just say something like, hey, you have a great day or something. Be pleasant because they be going through some hell. I know a lot of young ladies who work in uh, grocery stores, checkout counters, whatever, and they always get in some trouble. Anybody who's worked retail or something like that know there's going to be some customers who are going to be a problem no matter how hard you work. A lot of times just be friendly to them. Don't try to get their number. Don't try to get a holler on. Just sit there and just be, hey, how's your day going? Or thank you. You'd be surprised. Just say, hey, thank you for your help. Uh, you have a great day today. And then when they see you next time, they, they'll start smiling. And then you just talk. You just talk. Sometimes they'll lead the conversation. And then as you get more comfortable, you start realizing, hey, a lot of times with some women, they'll talk, you, they'll talk to you. Or you. And part of communication is just listening. Just listening. And I said, I said this in a video before. Sometimes the best thing to say in a conversation, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. And then just ask a question, let them talk and just listen. They'll think it's the best conversation. But it all starts with just talking. Just just high. Just high. And here's the thing with it. Just saying hi. Every woman's not gonna say hi back, but that helps you get you used, that builds up your resistance to rejection. You know? And then build from there. And then situations where, you know, you might, you and a woman in the same place might just say something, you know? But then she'll start talking, let her flow. Or, you know, talking to uh, clerks, just being nice. Trust me, trust, trust, you start doing this today. Just be nice to them. Just be like, hey, you have a great day. You have a great day, you know? And then even there, some of them, they'll be like, uh, let them go. You still, no matter what, just say thank you. And then all of a sudden, they, they'll chat your head off because you're being consistent. And especially if they're very attractive, be just polite to a very attractive one because guys are going to be trying to get their rap on all the time. You ain't trying to get your rap on. You're just thanking them just for packing your stuff good. You know, and then, you know, say thank you. Have a great day. Boom. You know, be pleasant. Always, like I said, they see you again. They're going to be like, hey, how you, how you doing? They'll smile when they see you in line. They'll smile when they see you in line. But that's still practice. And see, as you build that muscle up, then when you see that woman you actually want to go out with, you actually want to holler at. She, she got that nice face and body and whatever else you like. You have no problems talking to her because it's just natural to you. So it's just like lifting. You got to just put in the reps. Boom. You know? And also, too, I had mentioned, uh, and shout out uh, Master Teacher BGS for pointing this out. You know, get us some type of job, uh, some call service or whatever. Get some type of job. You got to talk to people. You know, seriously, that, that way you have to talk to people. You can go a long way. Like get a part time job at some retail place or something. And you have to talk to people. Trust me, the six months of that, you'd be, you'd be like, whatever. That term, mouthpiece, is no magic. It's just simple communication. That's it. It's just simple communication. It goes a long way. Women, they look for a connection. 
just talk, but just practice, practice, practice. Boom, there you go. So anyway, that's all I have for right now. And I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.